Okay guys, these are the mark scheme for the potential paper 2 for C2. So question 1, fx is equal to 24x cubed plus 14x squared minus 11x minus 6. And when you put f of minus half, you get 0. So therefore 2x plus 1 is a factor of fx. Uh, for part B, you first you, dip, you use long division to get the quadratic and then you factorize the quadratic and you get the three factors 2x plus 1, 4x plus 3, 3x minus 2. Part C, f of minus 2 works out to be minus 120. And then part D, you sketch the graph as shown. So you find the y intercept, which is 0, minus 6, and the x intercepts are minus half 0, minus 3 quarters 0, 2 thirds 0. And you draw the cubic equation. Question 2. Okay, so you complete the square for the circle, and the center is 4 minus 2, radius is 5, and when x equal to 0, you get the, you substitute the point in, and you get y equals to 1 or minus 5, so therefore a is 0, 1, and b is 0, minus 5. And part c, at p, y is equal to 1, and you get x equals to 8 or 0, so once you got that, so you know your point P is 8, 1, because 0, 1 is the point A. So AP is square root of 8 minus 0 squared plus 1 minus 1, 0. Uh, basically, it's 8 units. So that's question 2. Questions, question 3. Okay, so we have a trigonometric equation. 6 sine squared theta equals cos theta plus 4, so you change the sine squared to 1 minus cos squared, you simplify, you get this quadratic 6 uh, cos squared theta plus cos theta minus 2 equals 0. You let y equals cos theta and you solve it, you get cos theta equals to half or cos theta equals to minus 2 thirds and then I use the graph like I told you in the previous videos. So here we go, I check where the cos graph is intersecting half and cos graph is intersecting minus two thirds. Also notice that it's in radians, so I've drawn the graph with radians from minus pi over two to three pi over two. And then you get the angles. So cos inverse of half is pi over three or minus pi over three. Cos inverse of minus two thirds is 2.3 or two pi minus 2.3. So the answers are pi over three, minus pi over three, 2.3 or 3.98. In the next equation, is sine squared theta equals 2 cos squared theta so sine squared over cos squared becomes tan squared so tan theta equals to plus or minus root 2 and then you do the same thing you solve it and I, you can see I've drawn the tan graph here and it's intersecting two places for root 2 and two places for minus root 2 and then the answers are here 0.955 pi plus 0.955 minus 0.955 pi minus 0.955 and these are the answers, 0.955, 4.10, minus 0.955, 2.19 radians. Okay, so that's question three, and the question four is the differentiation question. So we have a cylinder. So what I've done is I've written down the volume of a cylinder and the area of a cylinder. The area of a cylinder can change depending on what kind of a cylinder it is. So in this case, it's a cylinder with no lid, but there is a base, so that one. So pi r squared h equals 300, so h equals to 300 over pi r squared. You sub that into the area equation and you get a equals pi r squared plus 600 over r. And then you differentiate a. You get dA dr equals to 2 pi r minus 600 r to the minus 2. So when dA dr equals to that equals to 0 and r works out to be 4.57 centimeters. So when r equals to 4.57 centimeters, area equals to pi times 4.57 squared plus 600 over 4.57, that works out to be 196.9 centimeters squared. You times that by 5p, or 0.05 pounds, and that works out to be 9 pounds and 85. Justify this is a minimum, so second derivative is 2 pi plus 1200 r to the minus 3, so when r equals 4.57, Second derivative quite clearly is greater than zero, so therefore it is a minimum. 
So that's question four. Time for question five. So the proof of the summation for a geometric sequence. So you write them down as SN equals A plus AR, etc, etc, and then you times everything by R. So R SN equals AR plus AR squared plus dot 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 ARN. And you take 2 minus 1, equation 2, take away equation 1. So that gives you R SN minus SN equals to ARN minus A, because all the middle terms cancel. And then if you factorize SN out, you get R minus 1 equals a bracket i n minus 1 and s n equals to a bracket i n minus 1 over r minus 1 as required. This may come up guys, so practice this. It's only a few lines and it's not difficult. Question B. So end of year 1, you would just have first month's investment, which is 500 times 1.05, but end of year 5, so you'd have had first month installment, 5 months interest, second month installment, four months interest, etc, etc, and the last month installment will be just one month's interest. So the first term becomes kind of the last invest, uh, last installment because that only earned one month's interest. So it's 500 times 1.05 as the first term, and the common ratio is 1.05. Number of terms is 5. So S5 equals to, using that equation, you get 2,996 pence. If you don't understand this question, you can ask me a question on the comments box and I'll try to answer to the best of my ability, okay? And then we need to know which month we're going to have a balance of 10,000 or more. So the SN has to be greater than 10,000. So you plug the values in, so you end up getting, if you go through each step, you can see what's happened. So you end up getting N greater than 13.71, so it will be 14 months, okay? Uh, question 6 Question 6 is probably the easiest question in the paper So it's a trapezium rule So 4 strips, so that means the height is 1 And that is at the very end here guys You can see here, height is 1 And I just made a quick table when x equals 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4 And y is equal to 1, half, 1, fifth, 1, tenth, 1, seventeen. I, I advise you to keep it in fractions if possible you only make it decimals if it's completely impossible to do fractions because the fraction will give you an accurate answer. So the integral equals half times height times 1 plus the last value which is 1 over 17 and then 2 times the middle value is added up and then you get 113 over 85 and works out to be 1.329 units squared as the area. Question B, to get a better approximation you just increase the number of strips. Question 7 is an integration question, so integral of 0 to 3, 3x squared minus 12x plus 9 dx, and that works out to be 0 when you plug the values in, this is just a simple question guys. Area A is equal to area B, that's why it's cancelling out. And if you just work out area A first, so 0 to 1 of that integral, and that works out to be 4, so areas A plus B, because they are equal, so it will be 4 plus 4, so 8 units squared. Okay, so question 8 now. Um, so we have log base 3 of x plus 12 log 3 of x of 3 minus 8 equal to 0. So using the change of base law, that becomes log 3 of x plus 12 log 3 of x minus 8. So we let y equal to log base 3 of x. It's y plus 12 over y minus 8 equal to 0. So you just uh, multiply through r by y, you get a quadratic. You factorize, so you get y equal to 6 or y equal to 2, which means log base 3 of x equal to 6 or log base 3 of x equal to 2. So x equal to 3 to the 6 or x equals to 3 to the 2. So x equal to 7, 29, x equals to 9. Next question is similar. Uh, so you have, you have a 125 here, which is 5 cubed. We can put the 3 down, so I'm starting with line 3 already. So it's log base 5x plus 3 log base x5 equals to 10. So I change the base again, so it becomes log base 5x plus 3 over log base 5x equal to 10. <coughs> Let y equals to log base 5x, and then you get a quadratic again, but this time it does not factorize. People may use uh, the quadratic formula, but I think it's quite simple to use the completing the square here, as you see y minus 5 squared minus 25 plus 3 equals 0, so y minus 5 squared equals 22. 
So we come over here, y minus y equals plus or minus 22, so y equals to pi plus or minus root 22, so log base x, 5x equals pi plus or minus 22. So x equals to 5 to the power of pi plus root 22 or pi minus root 22. Mm. So x equal to 5,930,000 5, or 1.65, the three significant figures. Okay, so that's that guys. I think I didn't miss any questions. Okay, just have a look. Um, good luck. And um, I will be posting one more paper very soon. Okay.